Hi, I'm Lynn Brick. Welcome to this week's fifth tip. Whether you exercise or not, this tip can help prevent cancer. Well, if you're reading this tip on your computer or watching it on YouTube, also on your computer, I need you to move away from your desk, get up off your seat, and get up on your feet. Here's why. Even if you're an avid exerciser and you exercise at least 30 minutes nonstop every single day, recent research proves that sitting for long periods of time can actually cause cancers of the colon, cancer of the endometrius, as well as cancers of your ovaries. That is alarming news. Now, uh, according to uh, Professor Jim Levine at the Mayo Clinic, he says that on average people sit from, for seven to nine and a half hours a day. Wow! How long do you sit at your computer? Are you basically chained to your email? I know we live in a fast-paced society now. But are you chained to your computer, uh, researching information, chained to your email, or communicating to your associates, always on the computer? Well, I'm going to give you four tips on how you should, on moves you should use every single hour to help you to move away from your desk and help you to prevent cancer. Here's move number one. Move away from your desk and grab a band. Now, this is a very portable exercise piece of, a piece of equipment. It's, it's awesome. And you can basically work every muscle in your body with this band. But here's one exercise you can do. It's called the reverse fly. So you grab the tube like, or the band like this in your hands with your thumbs up and basically start with your elbows about shoulder height. Squeeze your elbows behind you as you squeeze your shoulder blades behind you as well. And repeat this 12 times, at least 12 times. What this does is to help strengthen your back muscles as well as stretch your chest muscles, which seem to get tighter and tighter as you sit at your computer desk. Okay, so do this move, the reverse flies, at least 12 to 20 times every single day. Okay, the next move you can do to help you to move away from your desk is a tricep kickback. Again, an incredible piece of equipment which can you can transport anywhere. Stick it in your suitcase, stick it in your purse and do a tricep kickback. Basically, I want you to stand with one foot forward, one foot back, placing the tube underneath of the sole of your foot. Raise your elbows back and squeeze them together before you just simply lengthen your forearms. So you basically work the tricep this way. Why do you need strong triceps? So you can help push off your seat every single day. So that's an awesome exercise. The third move you can use is to uh, basically think of your mobile phone exactly what it's intended for, not so that it becomes mobile, so you become mobile. So anytime you're walking, you're talking on the phone, whether it's using your mobile phone, think about moving around. Move away from your desk instead of staying seated, move away from your desk and use your mobile phone as a tool to help you to become more mobile. Even if you're talking on a phone that has a phone line, such as this, walk and talk at the same time. So get up and walk and talk at the same time. Who cares if you're pacing? Walk and talk at the same time. The fourth tip to help you to become uh, more active, even in the workplace, and help you to move away from your desk every single hour is to have your meetings, conduct meetings standing up. One of the tips we like to use is the 10 minute standing meeting, where uh, a supervisor can discuss the day's activities with their, their, their uh, associate and within just 10 minutes, it, it, number one, it helps you to stay focused. Number two, you're off, off your seat and on your feet and, you're, and you can move. And, and number three, it helps them to connect on a regular basis. So everyone, it, their, their communication is very clear as to what the day's activities are all about. So there you have it. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together for the reverse fly. Do the tricep kickback with a band, uh, with a tube, so that you can focus on strengthening the back of your arm. Do the walkie-talkie with the mobile phone. You become mobile and have, conduct 10-minute standing meetings or even walking meetings. In closing, here's today's thought from Gloria Steinem. The first problem for us men and for women is not to learn, but to unlearn. If you like this tip, please feel free to pass it on to a friend, family member, or a coworker. Please share the good news of how to move every single hour. And uh, I'd like to hear your comments. Please make your comments or suggestions on my blog. That's blogging with Lynn, L-Y-N-N-E dot com. And if you'd like to see the text version or any of my past tips, you can log on to BrickBodies.com. Until we meet again, you go girl.